Hi, I'm Pam Powell. I'm Jim Powell. We've been attending fellowship for about three and a half years. I remember when I was young, my granny modeling giving. She took me to Sunday school and church and she'd give me my little quarter to give at Sunday school. And I would watch her put her hard earned dollar in the plate as it went by. They were poor, they didn't have a lot, but whatever she had, she gave. And that was my influence. I feel like that's the core of my generosity. For me, uh, being raised in the military, with five mouths to feed, we had uh, not a lot of uh, extras, and uh, giving and generosity was essentially internal because it wasn't uh, anybody that we'd give money to or give uh, our time to. You, you had to maintain in the family. Even though I learned as a child to be generous, as I got into my adulthood, I drifted from that. I drifted from giving and being generous uh, financially. And so that takes me to five years ago. I hit a bump in the road with my health and I had to retire. I abruptly cut our household income in half and I went into survival mode, leaning on my own understanding but going to church on Sunday. And when things got tight, then giving to the church seemed to be the last thing that you would do. Well, and she was suffering undue influence <clears throat> as an accountant, of course. I know, you know, the pot can only go down until there's nothing left. So uh, I, I likewise was guilty of uh, leaning on my own understanding. And, you know, when it's over, it's over. When it's out, it's out. So as we were going through this hard season that it, God had presented to us, we sought out and found fellowship. And we came that Sunday morning and we didn't even have to talk. We just found ourselves straight to the hub and we were all in. Um, we wanted to invest in all that fellowship was about, their missions, their programs, the youth, the kids, we just felt compelled to, to give and to support that and just help build up all that um, fellowship was doing for God's people. We love fellowship and the hearts that it represents, but also the opportunities to uh, meet the needs that we couldn't meet on our own, individually or as a couple. It's not a matter of writing a check, it is a matter of uh, giving up something. And so it's really the joy of releasing and I find in the word of the Lord to say this is a blessing, that I'm blessing someone else with it is really a blessing for me. That trial brought me to, to such a wonderful place that when I give, I think about the times when we couldn't give. It just feels wonderful to know now that we can give. And, and I want to give as long as the Lord provides that.